Okay, so I'm doing the iodine clock reaction lab, and we're going to start. So let's read the instructions. The series of chemical interactions that take place follows, and there's those. Okay. So if necessary, use the button to adjust the volume to 12 milliliters. Okay, so it's already there. And 30 milliliters already there. Then adjust the volume of the water so that the sum of all the solutions when combined equals 100 milliliters. It's already at that. Make sure the temperature is set at 25 degrees Celsius. It's already at that. Click on the start button. When the last solution is added, click to start the timer. Pause the timer when the reaction solution changes color. Record your data in the following table. Okay. So let's start. Wait, maybe I should have not done that. Everything's ready. Start the timer. Nothing is really changing color. Let's see if we did anything wrong. Oh, when the last solution is added, click to start the temp. Oh, okay. So when the oh yeah, that's that's what I thought. So when the last solution is added, click to start the timer. Pause the timer when the reaction changes colors. Okay, so let's start, and that's the last one, and that's where we're gonna press play. Or yeah, start the timer. Okay, so now we're going to see how long it takes for it to change colors, and then we're going to click pause, and we'll see how many seconds it took. So we have to wait for it to change to that blue color. Oh, okay, it took about 18 seconds. Adjust the amounts and temperatures of the three reactants specified in the predicting table and repeat the general procedure of the preceding section. Record your data in the table. Okay, so now we have to make the six. Okay, well, I can change it. We need to make it six. And we need to make that. Well, it stays 30. All right, so now we're going to do this whole thing again. Start, and then when the last thing is added, I the total volume should be 100. Okay, I guess we have to make it to that. Okay, now we see how many seconds it's going to take to change. Still at 20 degrees, 25 degrees Celsius. We have to do those trials left. Taking a while. Thirty-eight seconds. Okay, let me record that. And now we're gonna adjust the things again. We're gonna make it twelve, and then 
we're going to make that 15. So that's going to need to go to there. Or we could start it. Set the timer for when the last one goes. <laughs> Now we wait again. I predict that this is going to take the longest amount of time because it has the most water and the least amount of products and reactants. I guess we'll see. It has to be 38 seconds. Hmm, took the same. Okay, and now I will be doing the same trials but at 45 degrees Celsius and 5 degrees Celsius.